Hey guys, welcome back for another Dragon Ball Legends video. Um, I was, I actually already had pre-released or pre-uploaded my Bardock and Frieza video that, that they were coming. Did not expect them to become available today. It's currently August 10th. Um, so we're going to go ahead and talk about it. First off, we had a major download. It was like 45 megs or something like that um, for Dragon Ball Legends. So make sure you're on Wi-Fi. Download that update. Um, we have the Legends Rising Summon, we have the Imperial Advent Summon, which is the old Frieza Summon. The Legends Rising Summon is the new Bardock and Frieza. On this banner, you have Kid Gohan, you have the new Krillin, which is actually really awesome. Uh, the, Go the Intelligence Goku, or the Purple Goku, was also a pretty damn decent unit. You have the new Bardock and the new Frieza. First off, let me just say, um, that new Bardock is freaking OP. He is the most broken character in game as of right now. Like, literally the most broken. Like, he is a Broly killer. You want him. Like, uh, Legends, the creators of Legends are literally like, oh, hey, how are we going to make sure that everyone spends their, their Chrono Crystals? And it's like, oh, hey, here's Bardock. And holy crap, let me just tell you, he could probably take on, like, a really strong purple unit in PvP and win. Uh, obviously, if he's, like, 100% in his skill tree system and whatnot. Um, there is the, they got those two. We have a new Extreme Kaba, a new Hero Kaba. Uh, the new the hard Nappa event is here. I also didn't complete the missions for the normal Nappa event, so I will be doing that as well. Uh, we have new equipment items as well. You'll pay. I'm not going to go over these. I'll save those for a different date. Um, and we'll probably do a team building. I'll do I'll do those, and then I'll do a team building guide. Um, I am running a little bit late. I want to make sure I get to work on time, so I'm going to keep this one quick. Imperial Advent summons. Um, it's it's just the Piccolo, the Paikuan, Kid Gohan, Captain Ginyu, and uh, Frieza. Frieza is a pretty damn good unit. 1% uh, drop rate on each of them uh, to get each of them. So uh, good luck if you're summoning for them. Um, for this, that, that's actually about it. That's just, uh, by the way, shout out to legends.dbz.space for all the information. Um, also, before I continue with the card review, please make sure to hit that subscribe button if you are new here. Help show your support of the channel. And make sure you hit that little notification bell if you want to get all the most up-to-date information as soon as it comes out. Um, all right, cool. So Barak, this card, I'm, I'm going to start with like the, the main attraction here because I'm just like super hyped about this. Um... So, let's see over here. Tag, basic commitment, you'll pay. Um, I guess this is the Piccolo. Um, this is the Raditz. So, these are the three that you're going to want to focus on the most. I don't know what the heck this Piccolo does, actually. Um, well, those are the drop locations. Can you tell me what he does? No, you can't tell me what he does. That's interesting. Uh, but it's for green elements, so you can use it on him. So, it's going to be the Piccolo, the Raditz, and the, the Goku over here, the you'll pay, which is, I think, the new one. Um, at 1,500... For Bardock, his base strike attack is 41. Let's to base it off a thousand, uh, 28,000, and blast attacks 23,000. At 1500, it's 41,000 and 34,000. Right now, mind you, this isn't like ridiculously crazy between the two of them uh, because there are cards that have about similar. And when they come to level 1500, but let's go take a look at them real quick. Key restore speed is not uh, the most important. Well, not the um, it's not the highest in game, but like his abilities, the main ability, all enemies are switched restricted for 10 timer counts plus 40 percent to strike damage inflicted for 10 counts requirements 15 timer counts must elapse when he uses his main ability no one can switch out so that means piccolo can't change cover or you can't change color, color cover to piccolo which will make life a lot easier or anyone who does damage reduction on, on changing out and when he has 40 percent to strike damage which is insane with you already had strike damage of 41,000. all right unique ability 30 percent to strike damage inflicted when two allies are down so you want him to be your last one uh, alive, but he also gets an additional 35% strike damage inflicted for each downed enemy for 20 timer counts. So when you kill an enemy, you get an additional boost there. Plus, team up, key recovery, 20% to key recovery when Tag Saiyan is a battle member, all right? That means every time that you have a Saiyan battle member, it goes up, which is a 40% inc or a 60% a increase total because you have Bardock, and you'll have rerun two Saiyans with him. That's all there is to it. It's insane. Like, this this is such, like, it's awesome. Such an awesome, awesome unit. Um, I highly recommend summoning for him. Final Spear ca Cannon is what he could teach. It is a ranged attack, which is better. I hate the ones that just go, like, one above, and, like, they do the widespread. It's a pain in the butt. Uh, but this is a straight attack. Um, his extra, his, um, his uh, green arts card ability, 50 to key recovery and cancel attribute downgrades. Like, he will literally be spamming spamming strike attacks all the freaking time and he will never have any type of downgrade on him when and then when this comes available anyway and and he is a double uh, strike card arts uh, guy too um these are all the sayings right now i'm not going to go too much into that uh just because i want to talk more about um the other units that are available i'm also bringing it up on legends right now um uh, on my actual games i want to actually look at the card so I, I think i misread something um maybe maybe the card or maybe dbz uh, uh, legend this website doesn't have the information completely correct right now. 
Uh, main ability, yeah, uh, afflicted for 10 timer counts. Z ability, 19%. So he is a, a Saiyan based strike attack during damage. So he gives strike attack up by 19% on top of whatever abilities he has. Um, yeah, okay, never mind. I, I read all that correctly. All right, so yes, he is a very OP character. You want him. Trust me, you want him. He is going to be very, very relevant for a long time. Um, at least for the next, I would say, probably the next six months, unless they, like, just happen to make a more OP character with the new cell stuff that's going to be coming out. Um, in terms of the Frieza, he is an agility character. He has a whole bunch of different items you could use, obviously, all the Frieza stuff. So you do have options with him when it comes to that. Uh, in terms of base damage, blast attacks, 37,000. Strike attack is 30,000. Um, not horrible, but I mean, obviously there are better units out there. Uh, his key restore speed's up there, though. 2300 key restore speed. Now, I haven't read anything else. I only read about the Bardock because um, I really wanted him because I like the Bardock. I want to see what he did. So all this is new to me. So this is live reaction, technically. Um, his main ability, draw special uh, move arts card next. 50% to own special move arts power for, for 10 timer counts. Uh, 20 timer counts must lapse. That makes sense. That's pretty good, though. Um, unique ability, anti-Saiyan blast up, 40% blast damage inflicted against Saiyan tag, or tag Saiyan. Uh, so he is also not going to be doing good against Bardock, though, so that, that's funny. Bardock will destroy him in PvP. Uh, special supernova, supernova, major explode damage, plus 25% to own special move, arts power for 10 timer counts. Uh, okay. Telekinesis, minus 5 to own special move. Okay, that makes sense. So essentially what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to launch a special, then use your main ability... And then you do another special. That will, yeah, you get the most damage out of it. He is, uh, looks like he's an art, uh, a melee, and a key blast uh, character as well. So that's pretty awesome. And that's pretty much it. Uh, he is an awesome card. I think he's not, he's definitely nothing special, but uh, he's cool. I, I'm, I'm not upset about him. Where is his Z ability, though? I feel like his Z ability, they, they hide his Z ability. Oh, yeah. 19% to blue base strike attack and defense during battle. Not bad. Uh, for a blue character, he would be good for a blue team, uh, at least as a supporting role. Spar sparking, actually, now until they get better characters involved. Uh, this is the Extreme Kaba. We're going to go a little bit quicker through this. You only have uh, the three over here. I never really consider bronze as a good as a good uh, item. Uh, at 1,500, if you're going to do that, his blast attack is 32,000. His strike attack is 26,000. So, meh, a little bit on the lower side, but he is an extreme unit. Main ability, potential of the warrior race, minus 5 to, uh, to ally blast card cost for 10 timer counts. Um, requirements, 15 timer counts must elapse. I mean, that's cool and all, but for only 10 timer counts, it's like, oh, let me use my main ability and switch out to Purple Vegeta and then just have him, like, launch it as quickly as he can and hope the enemy doesn't dodge or uh, change cover, you know? Unique ability, Team Vegeta, key recovery up, uh, plus 15% key recovery when character Vegeta is a battle member. Okay, that's cool. Fate, Vegeta, blast attack up, plus 15% blast damage for 10, 15 timer counts when faced with the enemy character Vegeta. Interesting, okay. I mean, he's not really going to be a Vegeta killer. If he was a physical type, I could say that, but he is a, a technique type or a green type, so he's not going to really be able to do that. Uh, special uh, is a Gallic Cannon. Uh, major impact, plus 15 to critical rate for 10 timer counts, which is kind of meh. Um, extra unlock, form of speed, plus 25% to own vanishing gauge key recovery for 10 timer counts. That's not bad, actually. Uh, not bad at all. You, the, 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 to be able to dodge quicker is always a, a benefit. Um, Z ability plus 22 episode God of Destruction Chopper Saga base strike attack during battle. Uh, okay, cool. So that means we will be getting more stuff for from the uh, Universe 6 tournament, which is going to be awesome. Uh, overall, a decent extreme character. He will be pretty much he's going to be a support unit. That's all you're going to do. You're probably going to run him unless you get until you get like a whole bunch of characters. Honestly, I, I can't wait for Hit to come out. Um, this is the Hero Cobb. I'm going to keep this one short as well. Same thing as the other uh, the, as the other couple of Saiyans. It's only you only have really three three uh, good items that you can attach to them uh at 1526,000 uh, uh blast 18,000 strike that's like a level 1000 um uh, sp character so again obviously he's a hero key restore speed is ridiculously low 1500 uh main ability 35 percent to strike blast damage inflict 15 timer counts 10 timer counts must elapse nah, i mean whatever um, special Gala Cannon, Major Impact, no no special, anything else that goes on to that. Extra, so on his uh, Green Arts card, Form of Attack, plus 15% to Blast Damage for 20 timer counts. Uh, he is a Double Blast card uh, holder, so that's interesting. And 10% to Blue Base Health during battle, which could be useful depending on the uh, team you're running. So uh, overall, that's pretty much it. Uh, Bardock is just, like, like, this is, like, this is a post over here on the Reddit too, by the way. Shout out to the Reddit, shout out to the, the uh, Legends of DBZ.Space. Um, like... Uh, it's insane. I posted it up on Facebook. If you guys aren't following me over there, go over to the Dragon Ball Multiverse, and uh, you can follow me over there. I posted up my uh, a couple things over there about it. It is just insane. He is probably... I definitely... I'm going to summon for him. You'll definitely be seeing a summoning video for me by Monday, at least. 
Uh, but anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Let me know how hyped you are for these characters. Are you going to be summoning? Are you waiting for Cell? Are you waiting for a different um, category or a different saga to come around? Uh, I'm definitely going for this character because who the hell knows? Uh, and I can't wait to see what they do with the Super Saiyan Barok. But anyway, guys, again, thank you for joining me here today. Make sure that subscribe button if you are new, and I will catch you all later.